Boy H2 of the Sound Pros. I'm here with my partner, Invisible T, aka Tango. What's good? Yeah, man. We just want to update y'all real quick on some things that we got going on. Um, first of all, that Sound Pros compilation is available on that piff.com. Make sure y'all check that out. Incredible independent compilation album. Actually, one of the best compilation albums ever, especially for independent compilation. But moving on, right, T? Mm -hmm. um, moving along, we want to um, announce that we were, we are dropping something called RRP, which is Real Review Podcast. It's nothing like Drink Champs. You know, Drink Champs is an incredible podcast series, but, you know, we, we got our own wave, man. We ain't biting nobody. We got our own wave. We mastermind our own things to bring to the culture. So Real Review Podcast, you know, we'll be reviewing, like, albums, battles, sports, you know, just things that, you know, all tied into the culture, right, T? Mm -hmm. Right, T? Word. Tom, you know, tell the people how you feel about all the things that we bring to the table right now. Nah, it's going to help everybody out, man, in the future. Everybody going to get exposed. All right, it's a lot of exposure. My man, part of my man, T, you know what I mean? He like Kareem Biggs. He don't really like to be seen on camera. He don't like to be filmed too much. But behind the scenes, you know, we mastermind a lot of things. And we going to put these finances together to bring a lot of things to the culture, man. But yeah, like we said, like these things are gonna be venues that help a lot of up and coming talent, you know, a lot of up and coming artists and producers and, and different things, man. Um, so like we said, um, RRP, Real Review Podcast, you know, we'll be reviewing albums, mainstream, independent, you know, sports, uh, movies, you know, like I said, all the things that, you know, we feel just add to the culture, man. Um, our first review would be the Fabulous and Jada Kiss album, T. How you feel about that album? We, I thought that album was incredible, man. Yeah, incredible man. album, yo. It's what the streets needed. Yeah, man. You know, it's, the streets definitely needed that, man. And it's also, yeah. you know, a lot of people, you know, needed that, you know, real hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, aside from everything else that's going on, it's a lot of good music out here, but I just think that project with the with the concept and the beats and the lyrics you know they brought like something you know amazing album to the culture real quick man they brought an amazing album out you know what i'm saying sure. and um the concepts you know songs like you know i pray songs like principles you know there's a lot of songs that you know broke down a lot of g codes you know a lot of a lot of you know gems on there a lot of real lyrics on there a lot of stuff that people could really relate to as opposed to you know just fast food hip-hop you know what i mean so shout out to fabulous and jada kiss on that incredible project sure. you know what i mean you want to say anything else about that project t no that's just what the streets needed yeah, more than the streets but that's the streets it, needed man. that too though you know what i'm saying it's an incredible project man. though right yeah, yeah man um uh we just felt that you know much like jay-z 40 444 album which was also an incredible album it was just a lot of grown hip-hop on there you know a lot of real hip-hop that you know people could relate to you know a lot of you know a lot of stuff that like i said it's just not fast food hip-hop you know music and projects that'll be around for years to come and it will still sound amazing you know um <clears throat> moving along like we said, stay tuned for um, RRP, Real Review Podcast. You know, the only thing that is dissimilar to Drink Champs is there's no set location. We'll be doing them in different locations. You know what I mean? The update right now we're putting out is in the car, though, right, T? But we'll be in different locations, man, different apartments, you know, just different, you know, areas. You know, you never know what we might, um, you know, do the Real, Real Review Podcast, you know, depending on the timing and the situation. But, you know, we definitely wanted to uh, review a couple albums. You know, um, it's a lot of things going on right now. The Mace and Cam battle, you know, we thought that was hot. You know, it was pretty hot to see them battle real quick and also <laughs> shut it down, right, T? Right. Before shit get out of control. Right. You know, that's a fact. You know what I mean? We both from Harlem, so we already know the, the deal with everything out here right. with all that, you know, and how bad it could get if those dudes continued on to just, you know, badmouth each other and go back and forth even more, you know what I mean? It could start spilling out to the streets and things could start happening. So it's good to see them keep it hip hop and then shut it down right away before things get too crazy, you know what I mean? Bro. Yeah, man, Um, what else, Steve? Oh, our final thing we wanna uh, announce, we also dropping something called 3-in-1 Battle League, man. 3-in-1 Battle League will be the first 
venue where you can see acapella battles. You can also see um, up and coming artists showcase their songs and you can also see producer displays or battles. So like I said, you know, it's a venue not only for acapella battles, also artists will be able to display their songs, like artist showcases, they'll be able to, you know, perform a few of their records. And um, it'll also be producers that are there being able to display their beats or battle other producers as well. So this is on the way, man. 3-in-1 Battle League, you know, put together by me and my partner, Invisible T, a.k.a. Tango. Want to say a little something about 3-in-1 Battle League, T? Just stay on the lookout for it. Yeah, stay on the lookout, man. We putting it together right now, right? We trying to... Uh, it's for everybody. Right, it's for everybody. It's for the culture, man. You know, um... We right now we uh we trying to find out locations right now, right? See, we mm -hmm. trying to figure out what's going to be the first first location that we're going to have the venue. So that's what we're working on right now. We you know we pretty much you know got a few you know um artists in line. We got a few you know producer acts in line, including myself. You know why would I not start off the producer display? You know being H two of the Sound Pro. So you know I'm a represent. You know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, but uh, three in one battle league is gonna be crazy, man. Y'all stay tuned. It's gonna be incredible for the culture, man. It's gonna be something that's you know geared up for. We should have did this before with the windows closed, but it's all good though. We needed the air. But um, yeah, man. That's just gonna be an incredible venue for you know the culture though, man. Y'all just stay tuned, man. 2018, we're gonna be dropping a lot of things that's gonna. Uh, you know, add to the culture, and, you know, add some shock value to things out here, man. Um, H2 Sound Post Productions, my partner, Invisible T, a.k.a. Tango. You want to say anything before we get out of here, my G? Peace out. Yeah, man, we got to go take care of some B.I. Just want to give you all that quick announcement. Look out for RRP, Real Review Podcast. Look out for 3-in-1 Battle League. You know what I mean? Sound Post Compilation available on piff.com. Make sure y'all check that out. And um, we're about to get up out of here, right, T? Yeah. All right, man. I'm going to holler at y'all later. H2, Signpost Productions, Invisible T, one.